the Greek underworld is not hell. In fact, it actually includes paradise, heaven, and hell. All that go here. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And they actually go here in a certain structure. You see, Thanatos has the job of showing up like, Yo, what's up, bro? Give me here. You good? You tucked? You tucked in there? Yeah? Yeah, you dead, dog. Thanatos takes your soul and gives it to Hermes to guide it to the entrance of the underworld where he hands the soul to Charon whose job is to ferry you into the underworld across the river Styx but Charon is that dude that's like Bitch better have my money You know that thing where they bury the dead with two coins? That's for Charon. That's that ferry money. You wanna have the money? You're gonna be wandering the shores for 100 years before you get a free lift. Facts. Once you get across the river, three judges go through your browser history and every action you ever took in life to decide whether you get to be happy or deserve eternal suffering. The normal people go to the Asphodel Meadows, those who did nothing notable, neither good nor evil. They chill for a thousand years, drink from the river Lethe, which wipes their memories and then they are reborn. The special people go to Elysium, which is essentially paradise. Great mortals, heroes, demigods, they're all here partying, hunting, feasting all day. A return to Earth is optional, but it's like, why would you? The real special ones like Achilles and Odysseus are on the Isle of the Blessed, which is like the gated community of Elysium. And all the bad guys, including the Titans that Zeus overthrew or people that rebelled against the gods, they're sent to Tartarus for eternal punishment, specifically designed by Hades himself. And it can range from burning for all eternity on a spinning wheel to eternal hunger and thirst or more creative takes like Sisyphus who cheated death several times and was punished by rolling a rock up a hill, a heavy one too, only for it to roll down every single time he gets to the top. Hence the term Sisyphus task. He's doing that for all eternity. And then there's also the fields of mourning for those who punch their own ticket while mourning their lost love and the land of dreams ruled by Morpheus who hosts everybody here while they're dreaming and literally designs their dreams, which if you think about it, it's kind of creepy. Oh, and you probably heard of Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Yeah, if you try to leave the underworld, he's gonna eat you. Unless you play some good music because that literally puts him out of action. That's like his weakness. And there's actually a story of how the great musician and mortal Orpheus put Severus to sleep with a lullaby and snuck into the underworld to save the love of his life. But that's a Greek mythology drama for another day. Aye? Aye.